Hey everybody, the Bong is back. Welcome to part 14 of Let's Play Mario's Time Machine for the Super Nintendo. And of course, this is brought to you by GameAnyone.com. We're going to grab this here skull and go to Stratford upon Avon, 1601. Romeo and Juliet, Hamlet, King Lear, Othello, Macbeth. These are only a few of the famous characters immortalized by the greatest playwright, I believe, in English literature, William Shakespeare. Born over 400 years ago in 1564, Shakespeare's plays are still performed throughout the world. Shakespeare wrote during England's Golden Age. Wait, England's got gold and an age? A time when Queen Elizabeth I was generously supporting the arts. And you probably would have known that if you watched part 9 of this Let's Play as we had to get an artifact for Queen Elizabeth I. It is said that Shakespeare wrote a play, I believe, just for her. An asshole, I mean an actor, as well as an author, Shakespeare is known to have written some 39, no, not 39, 37 plays. Among them were histories, I believe, such as Richard III and Henry V, comedies such as The Taming of the Shrew and Twelfth Night. Oh yeah, Twelfth Night, I've heard about that. I did that one in grade 11 or grade 12 in high school. Basically about this woman who dressed up like, like as a guy or something. Uh, it was very weird, but very interesting at the same time. There's even a movie after that. Tragedies such as Hamlet and Romeo and Juliet. Most of Shakespeare's plays were first performed at the Open Roof Globe Theater, where bad Lady Gaga fans, I mean weather, could cancel a performance. Shakespeare lived until 1616, having made a modest fortune. He was buried in the village where he was born. And trust me, if you can get this one wrong, you don't deserve to play video games with any educational value at all. Stratford upon Avon, of course. Alright, time to head over there right now. So Stratford upon Avon. Or just Stratford, whatever can fit. Yeah, you're gonna have a hard time fitting Stratford upon Avon in just that much of a screen. You can try, but I'm pretty sure it would just look like a piece of shit. Four, five. And there's five more. Six. Seven, that was a fluke. Eight. Nine. And there. Can't believe we're back in England again. Hi there, ma'am. I'm looking for Shakespeare. Anne Hathaway is my name, good sir. But what's in a name? That which we call it Rose by any other name would smell as sweet. Shakespeare, my beloved husband, is at the theater. Uh, what's in a name? Oh yeah, that was a quote from Romeo and Juliet. I love movies. What's he going to see? Movies? An odd word, though you pronounce it trippingly on the tongue. You speak of theater, the place of thing. They rehearse his latest effort even now across the square. Has Shakespeare lived here his whole life? Yes, Stratford-upon-Avon is his place of birth and has been his home for all of his 37 years. In this village we were wed, and our three children are born here as well. You have children? I didn't know that. Yes, our children are the light of our lives. Judith and Susanna shine brighter than heaven above. Alas, our son Hamnet is with the angels, yet how far that little candle still throws his beams. Wow, does Shakespeare write like that? <laughs> My dear husband writes of all things in life. Beauty, sorrow, joy, comedy, and of course, love. I must prepare a goose now where I would quote you volumes. Where's my kitchen knife gone? Uh, yeah. Hi, do you know Shakespeare? Shakespeare? A fellow of infinite jest of most excellent fancy. We were schoolmates here in Stratford upon Avon. He went on to become famous while I, oh, I am fortune's fool. Hey, I'm no Shakespeare myself. And some doubt that Shakespeare is Shakespeare. This is the most unkindest cut of all. Some credit his work to Francis Bacon or Edward de Vere, the 17th Earl of Oxford. Why doesn't people think Shakespeare is Shakespeare? He writes of things of which only the powerful and traveled should know. But I have heard him say, to be a well-favored man is the gift of fortune. 
but to write and read comes by nature. I travel far to return this to Shakespeare. Why, I am Traveler too. Please take my old globe as a gift. I must just received a new one left to me in the will of Sir Francis Drake. Oh, brave new world, that has such people in it. What kind of plays has Shakespeare written? He writes, they say, of love, blood, and rhetoric. His works are, are of three kinds as well. First, there are his histories, plays like Henry IV, Richard III, and Henry V. What other kinds of plays does he write? Oh, excellent comedies like Twelfth Night, Much Ado About Nothing, and The Taming of the Shrew, Julius Caesar, Romeo and Juliet, and now Hamlet. Don't forget Midsummer Night's Moon, or Midsummer Night's Dream, I mean. Though are among his wrenching tragedies. Oh, what's this new play of Shakespeare about? You mean Hamlet? A Danish prince, his father murdered most foul, must decide to take revenge upon the murderer. But is Prince Hamlet sane? Or is he mad? That is the question. Boy, I bet everyone wants to see that. No doubt, even the Queen will be there. They say Shakespeare wrote one of his plays especially for her. Egad, a stain on my doublet. If only I had my handkerchief, I could remove it. And I don't have one, so you're on your own. I don't want to see you yet. Hi, my name is Mario, and I... I, sir, am an actor. None other than the great Burbage of Verbiage. My name is Richard Burbage. Or I can be called any name the script doth instruct. You're an actor in Shakespeare's plays? There are others. Since 1594, Lord Chamberlain's men has performed for Her Majesty in our court. We hold, as twere, the mirror up to nature, reflecting this stuff called life. I'm not sure I understand. Life is difficult to fathom at times. Shakespeare writes of that. Listen to this. All the world's a stage, and all the men and women merely players. That is a line from As You Like It. How many players are there? I know of some 37. Some written, some performed. Some still ceilings in his imagination, like the darling buds of May. These plays of which I speak include histories, comedies, and tragedies. Wow, he's written a lot. Yes, Shakespeare is not only the greatest playwright and poet in English literature, he is also an actor of some merit. More of this anon. This knife is then Anne Hathaway must go. Take it, please. Aren't you supposed to be rehearsing? Egad, yes, I must prepare. Tonight I perform while Shakespeare directs. I'm portraying Prince Hamlet, the melancholy Dane, but I'm in need of a feather for my costume. I'll get you one later. First, let me return this knife before the old wife with the knife takes away the life. Is this the dagger I see before me? The handle towards my hand? Oh, it's my kitchen knife! Thank you! William has always taken my things to use as props at the Globe Theatre. I got that from Burbage, the actor. He says hi. Ah, Richard. I had forgotten we had loaned it to him. As I always say, neither a borrower nor a lender be. William should have brought it home. But men are men, the best sometimes forget. That reminds me, Burbage needs a feather. Yes, of course, his costume. Here it is. You know, this feather is a veteran of many plays in London. The profits from the Globe Theatre there could have made us quite comfortable. Hey, I'll bet this skull is another prop. It appears to be his favorite prop for Hamlet. The play's rehearsing tonight. Someone must rush it to him. Alas, for you're it. Here, wrap this handkerchief around it and be off. Yeah, I got a handkerchief too. Cool. Thanks. Oh, darn spot. Oh, I say. There. Yes, Shakespeare has written much. I say he will continue to write till his final plot is the one he's buried in. Here in Stratford-upon-Avon. Okay, don't need to talk to you anymore. And here's your feather. You are a prince among plumbers. My costume complete. I am an actor. This above all. To thine own self be true. And it must follow as the night the day. Thou canst not be false in any man. I don't get it. Doesn't make any sense. Methinks a plumber doth protest too much. Listen to the words and the meaning is clear. Simply put, if you are honest with yourself, you cannot help but show your true self to others. I get it. Where can I see one of his plays? At the Globe Theatre. But check the weather, for if it's bad, the performances are cancelled. Though the open roof emits both sun and rain, we'd admit more customers if we had a sign. Here's a globe. How clever! A globe as a sign for the globe! You are most generous! You have not only helped the theatre the play, you have helped the play. Help the player or whatever. I'm off to the theater. I must bid you adieu. And I must bid you adieu too. Hi, I'm already on him here. By the pricking of my thumbs, something wicked this way comes. Oh, sorry. You are but an inoffensive plumber. 
Get thee hence! I need inspiration. It is my verse that wants repair, not my pipes. Wait, you don't have pipes in 1601. Enter stage right. Give props to Shakespeare. I must bear our charmed life. Alas, poor York. I knew him, Mario. But now the play may commence. All's well that ends well. Well, Bill, it's late. I have to go. Good night. Good night. Parting is such sweet sorrow. And I shall say good night till it be morrow. Again, another quote from Romeo and Juliet. I thank you again, my puckish plumber. Did you call me fuckish? Oh, you meant puckish. My bad. Okay, I'm out of here. I no longer have to go to England for the rest of the game. Thank God. No offense to you, Brits, but... Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna stop the video right here. Next part, we're gonna grab the final artifact of the game. See ya, everyone.